building. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to go first? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Okay. Can you see me okay? Yes. What's your name, please? My name is Melissa Martz. I am a mother, a child advocate, a certified yoga instructor, and a registered patent attorney with a degree in biology, which is the study of life. My message today is, of course, directed at the powerful and sovereign parents in our community and not this weak and tyrannical board. Today's agenda item is to discuss proposed modifications to policy 520 titled Student Mental Health Crisis Response. The only reason that the board has considered modification is because they have been sued for violating parental rights. The modifications still do not require parental consent to dispatch a student for psychiatric evaluation and still allows for young children to be placed in handcuffs. This school board has allowed 59 children under the age of eight years old to be Baker acted on their watch. Further, in their proposed modifications, these child abusers have failed to address or take responsibility for the mental health crisis they themselves have catalyzed and fostered over this last year and a half. They have proliferated fear and anxiety for students and parents with forced social distancing, forced quarantine, abusively forcing children to cover up their breathing holes, extreme sanitizing, and a constant onslaught of propaganda and untruths about the real threat of the virus. This mental health crisis is subjectively evidenced by the child testimonies that have been read in front of this board. It is objectively evidenced by the scientific fact that shallow breathing can induce anxiety, depression, and stress, hijacking the breath of our children and exerting unconstitutional control over them has created a mental health crisis. So parents, Parents, I urge you to be a part of the mass exodus and remove your children. The board has shown you the monsters they are, and you are naive to think they will handle the vaccination of your children any differently. If you think you can't pull your children out, I am here to tell you you can. Lastly, parents, please ask yourselves, where are your state and federal representatives on these issues of mental health, parental rights, individual freedom, and government overreach? Are they actively and publicly petitioning our governor to enforce his executive orders and punish this board of tyrants? What are you paying them for if not to secure your constitutional rights? Get involved and vote them out in 2022 and vote out the child abusers on this board. For those that don't know, this board is currently being sued. They are being sued yet again for their constitutional infringement by forcibly suffocating our children. May justice come swiftly for them. Thank you. Go ahead, Ms. Contreras.